Hi guys, it's morning. Um, so I wanted to do actually um, a very basic, a very simple get ready with me. But then I realized maybe some people um, don't know exactly what they need to put together to be able to have a simple, uh, think about it like a capsule makeup kit. So I've got all of my essentials here, which obviously I have way more makeup than this. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to make it to where it was simple, to the point, and essentials regardless. Again, um, whether you're a new person to makeup or you're an actual pro. I'm not a pro. I'm just somebody that likes putting makeup on because it makes me feel confident to go about my day. And um, that's why I want to help you all out. I'm going to show you guys as I go along the tools. Oh, dear. Kitty wants to be up here with me too. Um, the tools and the products that I use and the, the, basically the things that I believe are going to be indispensable for your look. So the first thing that I had here and I'm going to show them to you as I use them. And first things first, I always remove my ring whenever I um, cook, clean or do makeup. I just don't want it to get gunky. So guys, first things first, I always start out with SPF. Um, this one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with sunscreen. So this already has sunscreen in it. And for me, sunscreen is always number one because of the fact that I have um, lupus. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if you have lupus or, you know, you're absolutely normal and healthy. You need to put sunscreen on because sun damage to your skin is very real and irreversible almost. So, um, mew. What do you want, honey? Take care of yourself. Take care of your skin. Um, you will thank yourself for it. So there you go. This, I really like how the texture is lightweight, but also tacky. Um, the skin absorbs it immediately. My skin is always super parched and dry. So this one moisturizes it, um, keeps it hydrated. Then also has like a slight sticky feel, which works great for me because I know for a fact that my makeup will cling on to it. What is it, honey? You wanna be on my lap? Okay, come here. Say hi to everybody. Hi, good morning. I'm Khajiit and I'm fluffy. She wants all the attention. She's like, yes, I'm so cute and fluffy. Okay, just sit on my lap or or don't, okay. Um, actually, this is a little bit of cheating because I already did my brows. Uh, some people already have great brows. I unfortunately am not one of those blessed people. Uh, the only thing that I use, just use whatever pencil that you want. Other people draw them on. Um, but I think the key whenever you do your brows is always the, the beginning or the start of your brow is always lighter compared to the rest of the tail. And that's just how you try to imitate whatever like little hairs that you have and you um, do little brush strokes to give them some sort of definition. So for me, I always like having, um, okay, so we did this, which was number one. Then let me walk you through the tools that we're gonna be using. All of these are Primark brushes. And if you've been watching any of my videos, I hope you have been, I'm totally flattered if you have. Um, these are all from Primark and these are all super duper cheap. Everything I have in this little makeup box are super cheap um, because I realized not everybody wants to drop, I don't know, $35 um, on a foundation, $28 on a concealer. So these are all drugstore brands. Same thing with these brushes. I would consider them like drugstore pricing because they'll be like, you know, two for four euro, one for two euro, that kind of deal. Um, there are cheaper ones online as well called Morphe and BH Cosmetics. If you are overseas um, as a military spouse, if you go to your NEX or to your PX, you will see Real Techniques. Honestly, I think Real Techniques is a little more expensive um, than these, but I mean, if they would be the cheapest, you would have at hand. Also, um, I like having a beauty sponge. The traditional OG Beauty Blender costs $20.
uh, and you re- you have to replace it every two to three months because of wear and tear and because of the fact that, I mean, it's going to start stocking up bacteria. This one I got off of Amazon. It's called Beaky. And I will list down the name of all of the things um, and that I've been using in the description box below. Five of these for $9.99, which is super awesome. And it is soft and squishy. And this is already dampened, so it's at its full um, its full size. Squish, squish, squish. Um, and it does the job just as well. Again, if um, you have access to the base, you can get a Real Techniques orange sponge there. Oh, there she is. Um, and that one is about $5.99, which is still pretty cheap. But if you think about it, $9.99 for five sponges or $5.99 for one sponge, Wh- which one, right, is going to give you more bang for your buck? And I would like to tell you it's this one. Um, I like having an eyelash curler. This one, this particular eyelash curler, which is, um, put these brushes down, which is Revlon, I'm not a very big fan of. Uh, My favorite eyelash curler came from Japan, and it got really, really old, and I didn't have um, the rubber padding anymore to replace it. So I just ran to uh, the NEX and got one of these. Um, Now... Another thing that I want to point out, whenever I talk to you guys about, oh, I have this one, I have this one coming from, you know, the drugstore coming from the NEX, my number one tip to be able to try all of these new products is make sure you have coupons. And I have a whole coupon file here. If you are a military spouse that lives overseas, um, you have no reason not to be able to coupon. For those of you that do not know, when you are overseas and you're a military, the normal coupons that we have stateside, if it says it expired November 2017, overseas, it'll last an extra six more months. So if it expired in November, let's see, let's count December, January, February, March, April, May, May 2018 is when that's going to expire. So that's exactly what I do for literally all of the makeup products that I showed you here that are not Primark. For example, Superstay Matte Ink, which I really love this lip, um, this lippy looks like this and I'll swatch it for you guys later on. This retails for about seven bucks. I found myself a coupon that was minus three dollars. Take it. I, I'm going to take it. I, it. I am not above using um, what's it called coupons to be able to get discounts. And that's how I'm able to afford like to test all kinds of makeups because I am using those coupons. Same thing with this one. I got like um, a $3 or $4 coupon for it. Now with couponing, when you go to um, the next or the mini mart or to the commissary, they have bins there that have labels of, um, you know, toiletries, pet food, cosmetics, medication. I actually do take the time to sit down and rummage through them. Some people get embarrassed with that. But for me, hey, I'm saving coin. And at the end of the day, I don't care what they think because I'm saving money and still looking really good. Um, so all of these from my concealer to the mascara, um, to the lip stuff, to the facial stuff, I use coupons whenever I can. And I highly recommend that you guys do too. It almost becomes a kind of sport like, oh, how much can I save and how many products can I get when I coupon? So just just a friendly reminder to you guys, I absolutely recommend it. And so far, it's worked really well. Like a whole thing of this could probably run you $50, which at the end of the day really isn't cheap. If you use coupons, like for me, once I ended up spending just like maybe 38. 38 is still a big price to pay. I understand, especially when you're on a tight budget, but still is better than 50 and still is better than the typical Sephora $280 price tag for a full face. Um, But more on that later on. I am going to take... um, my fluffy 220 Primark brush. It looks like this, very nice and soft. So it's a nice domed brush. And I'm gonna take the Primark Nudes palette. Now there are Nudes palette of um, from so many drugstore brands, uh, but this is the one that I currently have on hand with me. Um, you want, when, when starting up your beauty capsule, make sure that you have like these simple, um, nude earth tones, which you know for a fact is going to work for everyone. I'm going to pick up this 
shade over here. So it's not as dark as this and not as pink as this one. So just a nice, simple shade. She gone, I wonder where she went. And just, do you see where that crease is at right here? We're just gonna sweep a little bit like that. Gently and nicely. Then here at the outer corner, just drag it down. Very nice and simple. And we're just gonna repeat the process on the other eye. Lots of people that avoid makeup, they seem to think that um, wearing makeup is gonna make you look so dramatic that it takes so much time. Right now, I'm taking so much time because of the fact that I'm explaining and narrating to you every single thing that's happening. And I'm also drinking my morning smoothie. Um, so this is, <laughs> I pre-prep. Mew, do you hear that nice little squeaking noise? That's her little Khajiit. Oh, please behave. Um, on Sundays, I pre-pack um, little freezer bags. Mew! Um, and it has kale, strawberry, apples, and kiwi. So I have it for every single day of the week. And then um, in the morning, I just add water, honey, and chia seeds and blender it. Am I one of those like health nut, um, vegan, vegetarian, paleo people? No, not really. But I love my little baby that I have in my tummy right now. And I want something that's going to help her out. So that's basically why I do it. And it doesn't taste bad, guys. It actually is really good. Hmm. It keeps me full for a while when I know they're all fresh fruits and veggies. So people are usually daunted by this. They think it takes so much time. Not really. Yes, you could be doing other things. People have told me, well, I could be sleeping still or resting. Or eating. You're right. But um, for me, this is my this is my form of self-care first thing in the morning. Um, it helps me to meditate, focus, kind of come up with a to-do list of all of the things that I want to happen and want to make happen for the day. And to me, that's very important. This is my, this is my me moment. This is my Sabrina time. And it absolutely helps me. And I like what I see at the end of like 15 minutes of working on this. And I'm going to be like, oh, wow, I like what I see. So just really simple. Nothing, nothing extravagant, nothing unreal. Um, we're going to go back to our palette. And you see here, you've got this white color cream, and this one is a metallic champagne. In this palette, this is the only one with shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Primark 236. <laughs> so it's a, it's a detailing brush. But as you can see, it's not as pointy as this other one. They came in a pair, by the way. So this one's 236, this one's 250. This one is for more finer details. It almost looks like a pencil tip that I'm gonna use for my inner corner later on. I am going to grab um, this white shade. You know what, in, in, in the video, it looks like white here. It's not so much that, but that's neither here nor there. And I'm going to take that and just sweep it on my brow bone. I have no special techniques on how to apply stuff. Just gently apply, sweep, and blend it out. Like some girls have called it the windshield wiper motion. And it really is just as simple as that. Um, now you can use this brush, or if you want to be fancy, you can use that other brush that I showed you. You see the difference, obviously, aside from the color. Um, I like to use this one, and I am going to go in with that metallic champagne shade. You can still use this one. It is just my preference to use this shiny shade. Um, and you go in close, and just go in on your inner corner of your eye. Like you're sketching. So what you want to do is you want to sketch that bright little V or greater than, less than sign. Like that. Now the purpose of this is to like bring light to the inner corner of your eyes because with sometimes how your, your face is structured plus with your, uh, whatchamacallit, nose bridge down there, it kind of makes your eyes look darker and smaller. 
So that one brings more light and attention to that area and it looks really nice. Now, something that daunts most people is liquid eyeliner. Now, this one I got this state side. I've yet to find a good, nice, thin, sharp liquid eyeliner here on base. I used to have my favorite H2O waterproof wet and wild little ink pot. Um, I've run out and the NEX here has also run out and I'm not impressed and I hope that they do um, restock that soon. But this is something that I got back from the States. I swear it costs maybe $1.99 and it is a super fine tip, almost like a needle tip. Um, I am going to take my little, this one is my Lash, lash Addict container. Um, there is a mirror here and I'm going to use that. And I'm not sure how well you can see me. I'm going to come as close as possible. I'm not going to go for a dramatic wing today. Ah, this one is not working when I'm holding it like that. Um, I am going to just wing it from here. Is it even depositing color right now? Okay, so it is. Like there is, there is stuff on it. Just being a brat. Is it even though? Maybe this thing has dried up. I'm not sure. That's embarrassing. Has it? Yeah, just barely, but maybe for the purpose of our videos, that, that's a good thing right now. Or maybe because I'm just right-handed and it's easier to draw on my left eye. Hmm. Mirror. Mm. Yeah, we'll fix that later on. Yeah, I can live with that. I think that's pretty, that's pretty okay. But normally, um, when I've got a better mirror and I've got better materials, like, no, yeah, that doesn't work for me. Do you see how there's my lash and then there's that, like, there's that thing of skin showing and then there's that eyeliner. It almost looks like an Oreo. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. Let's try, let me try this one more time. This is mortifying. Okay, so this is where um, sometimes getting something that's a little, paying a little bit more is probably going to be the better route instead of like having to run this back and forth and be frustrated and ultimately waste time. Um, it might be good for you to get something that costs a little bit more. And when I say a little bit more, maybe $5 will be good. Now I'm going to attempt a winged eyeliner right now because that's normally what I do. Um, this is not the time and place for me to teach how it's done. I will, excuse me, do one eventually, but um, for me, this is how simple it works. Up. I need it to top, come back down. Whoa, it didn't do anything again, my goodness. This is terrible. You know, that didn't do much, but it's not bad for now. Yeah, that one's filled in, which is nice. This one is not. Okay. See, like pigment is coming out, just not on my eye.
Okay. All right. I think we can live with that. That's fine. Go right on ahead. Okay, then. Hmm. So after that, we're going to use the eyelash curler, which um, is a little intimidating, I will admit. Um, you're putting a metal contraption very, very close to your eyes. So I can see where that would instill fear in some people. So look in and gently push one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do it for about 10 seconds and there should be a considerable, unless of course you're me and your eyelash is just like, no, nope, I don't want to cooperate. I just can't. Hmm. Okay. And then with this one, one, two, three, one. Am I even grabbing anything or am I just saying one, two, three? Hmm. Let's see. Squeak, squeak. Okay. It doesn't show like it's doing much, but it is. So funny story, I've always had really, really, really small, sad, sparse, invisible, imaginary brows. Um, and then I started using Roden Fields um, Lash Boost, which was amazing. Do I recommend it? For me, it worked wonders. I do understand that um, a lot of women have become allergic to the formula, so it's like proceed at your own risk. But for me, it worked wonders. My thin lashes were like touching all the way up here. So what happened? Um, what happened was that mentality of the grass is greener on the other side. So I wanted to get eyelash extensions, but I don't want to have to pay the hefty price of 180 to be able to wear extensions for just under two weeks. Let's face it. Like people say, oh, it'll last you up to three weeks. No, by the time it reaches, you know, three weeks, it's going to look incredibly gnarly. It's going to be patchy. I want lashes now. That was my fault. Like sometimes be content with what you have. I started, I got the Ardell um, DIY lash kit. And doesn't that just tell you it's probably a bad idea? It was a bad idea. Plus, it was just $8.99. That $8.99, I absolutely regret it. I did my own lashes individually with their lash glue and their little lash clusters, and I thought it would look great. I did not Google the instructions or look through Pinterest or ideas on how to do it correctly. I put way too much glue and it started clumping the heck up and it was, it looked disgusting. It looked like there was like dried snot all over my eyes. Um, it stung on my um, lids. It glued my lashes together and it started falling out after five days. And it was a hot mess. It cost me $8.99. It cost me a lot of damage to my eyelids and to my eyelashes. And um, yeah, guys, don't don't do that. Like, don't if you, I do not recommend eyelash extensions because a they're pricey, and b um, your lashes, no matter what the esthetician says, they're gonna fall out. Yeah, they're gonna say it falls out naturally, which is true. But it's gonna be very very apparent when it comes out. Not a big fan of it. If I re if you want to have like fuller looking lashes without that commitment um, of them falling out or a price tag. I highly recommend just having false eyelashes like the ones that I have. Um, put them on, take them off at the end of the day and you can rub your eyes and shower and wash your face and be normal. Um, and also use a lash boosting serum. If Rodan Fields doesn't work for you, there's others that can. So I'm using today the Maybelline Big, uh, Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It's pretty good. Um, I got this again with a $3 coupon, so it should have been 7 bucks. I got it for 4 um, And what I do is I just look into the mirror. Well, look down at the mirror and brush away. I'm really jealous of the girls that have really naturally long eyelashes. It's like, oh, my goodness. But I did have them at some point, and it's really my fault for um, them going away and becoming the stubby little, you know, imaginary lashes that you see today. But you will see that this mascara does make a difference compared to this eye, which has nothing. So I'll take it, whatever. Um, okay. 
For some reason, my left eye requires more mascara and more attention than does um, my left. I'm not. My left eye requires more attention than my right eye, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if it's because I'm right-handed. I think it has something more to do with the fact that I notice myself whenever I put my serum, I'm always like rubbing my left eye more than I do my right eye. So I'm assuming like the medicine, the serum, the vitamins are like, oh no, you're removing this from your left eye. So see, that looks so much nicer and put together. Close this bad boy up. Now, this is an extra step. You don't need to do this, but I recommend it because it also pulls your look together far more better. Um, this one is the Soft Coal Kajal Eyeliner Pencil from Rimmel. I think this is like $2 if that. So it's a little pencil theme, looks like this. Um, and it's nice and soft, but it lasts really long. I gently, okay, use the ring finger to be gentle. Go in the waterline. Or the, I think it's called the tight line. The water line is the one in here and the tight line is over there. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference, but here the skin, like that flesh colored stuff is peeking out. This one makes it look darker and more put together. I'm just going to line that. There. Perfect. Some girls would like to stop here and you can. You have your brows, you have shadow, you have highlight, eyeliner, and mascara. You look great. But for me, that's, that, that doesn't really make up my full face. So now we're going to go to actually to the face. Some people ask me, well, why are you doing your eye stuff first? Because with the eyeshadow, with the highlight, with the eyeliner, sometimes um, they f you get fallout. You get some powder, or maybe I make a mess over here. And I don't want to have to redo my foundation and makeup all over again. I have to do that, you know? So I got this in the mail yesterday. This one is Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, Hydrating Tint. So it's just like a tint is what they're saying. Um, and I ordered it because our um, NEX does not carry it. I have dry skin, like I told you guys. And I've seen so many YouTube tutorials saying that this works if you do have parched skin. It is the same line in Neutrogena as this one. So they're both um, meant to be able to restore um, moisture into the skin. So this is my first time using it. It's in the color Honey in 58. Yeah, almost reminds you of the tarp shape tape. Is that a lot of product? But anyway, focus. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Oh, I can feel ah, I can feel the baby moving around. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get some more. One, two, three. Okay. Doesn't smell like anything special. Then I'm going to get the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20, which is sand. Um, and again, I got this with like um, a $3 coupon as well. It's normally seven bucks and yeah. Looks like I have more paint. Got a little mustache on my chin. Over here. Now, normally this is not what I do. I just have time right now. I so I'm like doodling and drawing on my face. Normally what I do practice is I put it on my wrist, I get my beauty blender, and then I just dab and put it on my face. But now it's directly on my face. So let's buff this out with the pointy side here, starting from the middle of the face. Corners of the nose. Mm, 
It's a very nice, bright color. I think it matches. I think it might match, but also these things oxidize. So for anybody that's new in makeup, when I say oxidize, it means like um it mixes with the air, with the sweat um, that is on you, and it goes darker. So if you thought like, I'm gonna look like I have a white cast, eventually it's gonna neutralize with um, my body's heat, with the surrounding air, and all of that and it's gonna for some people the oxidation is very apparent and their skin turns orangey that happens to me with the l'oreal true match which is why i really like that foundation but it doesn't work for me so i stop There we go. I think that looks really nice. Nice, even I think we're kind of the same color as um, that tan line over there that I got from last week. Um, this is an unnecessary step, but I like doing it as well. I got these ones from Primark, the ones that look exactly like the Kim Kardashian West um, contour kit. So I will take, oh, Guys, by the way, pro tip, whenever you're doing highlighting and contour, I find it best that you do the highlight first and then the contour later so your brush or your sponge or your fingers don't get muddy. Um, so this one's the clean one and this one's, okay. So I'm gonna go like this. Actually, you can't. You can barely see this registering on my face. Um, this one is the, like the bisque colored one. And this one is the metallic pearl. I'm gonna put that pearl up here, sort of like a stripe. Um, oh dear, that was not a straight line, that was wiggly um, over here. And then sort of like another stripe here with the bisque colored one. Oh, that's totally even. No, not really. Okay. That. Go back in with our sponge. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Beat it in. Gently buff. Very nice. Again, not necessarily, this is not an essential step, but if you want to go, if you have a few more minutes and you want to be extra, then let's go with the cream contour. I think I will go in, excuse me, with the more warmer tone brown, looks like this. And we will put it directly under that bright stripe that we did earlier, one. And two, really even, three, one, and two. Should I do a nose contour? Yeah. Boop. See, it's not that bad. It's not that intimidating. I promise you, I'm not an expert, but if I can do it, guys, so can you. The beauty blender that does not have the lighter color, use the other side and dab, 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 pat, pat, pat. Actually, so you guys can see a difference, I'm just going to blend out one side. For now, I mean, I'm not gonna walk out with half my face looking like a cartoon character, but <laughs> that would be funny. Like suddenly this girl has definition to her face. Ta-da! So it looks like this. And this side, well, actually just kidding. Let's Pop this one out gently. Let's 
See? Like your face is not one dimensional. You need to have dimension on your face. Um, and you go know, here, it's obviously there's the harsh lines, but it's flat. And when you turn, it's like, girl's got dimension, yay. Gentle buffing over here like that. Okay, the nose. Here you go. See, love it. Okay. Um, you might be an oily skin person. I'm not that oily. So, um, if I'm going to set my makeup, I'm not going to do that much. This is the Primark banana powder, which is just like the Ben Nye. I'm going to take just a little bit here with my Primark 141 brush. So it, they said it's an eyeshadow brush. I think that's a little too big. It's like the size of my whole eyelid. Take a little bit from the cap. Just go here under eye. Oh, um, mustache, your chin, under eye, um, and above your forehead in the shape of a cross. Just so that you know, those are the points that tend to get really oily for most people. So that's why, that's why I'm just like um, making sure that it doesn't do anything crazy. Um, most people, again, most people. I keep saying most people. My preference is, aside from the fact that we use that cream highlighter, I want an extra pop of color. Um, I have lots of highlighters, but to show people that you can reuse some items, I am going to go, ooh, sorry, I'm going to go back with that champagne shade over there, the metallic one, and pat, pat, pat with the same brush that I used for my under eyes and run it here. Ooh, I love that. Now, this is not the most blinding highlight that I've used. I am that girl that really, really wants her highlight to be seen half a mile away in the dark. Like, I love my highlighter. But if you want to look more subtle, I understand not everybody likes that. Get this one and really sweep, sweep, sweep. Now, what I do with my other highlighters is I use this. I wet it more and then I dab on my cheeks. And it, girl, like that is just, seriously, when you use a wet sponge, you are going to look snatched to the ground. That is my goal. Sorry, I, I just, mm, I love that. Okay, um, then you can use this brush again. <laughs> Like just playing with it to remove all of the excess dust. Go back in with the champagne um, highlight and run it up and down. It kind of sets that cream as well on the tip of your nose, on the side, and there you have it. I love that highlight. I am living for that glow. And it doesn't look too much. It doesn't look like how you normally see me when I've got like glitter and all of that going on here. Um, and really, honestly, some people, they just like to do the highlight. They don't do the contouring. When you just use highlight on, highlight on your face to accent the high points of your face, we call that strobing versus contouring. And that's normally what I do if I don't have enough time. Like after um, I put this one on and I beat my face for the gods, just use this and you're good to go. You're a dewy, fresh face and you look amazing. Um, then our last thing is, to use our matte ink. Some girls just put on Vaseline, Carmex, whatever, and they look good. Unfortunately for me, like um, I think I'm gonna look kind of dead-ish without some color. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink in the color Seductress. Oh, reflection, it's not, there we go. Thank you, come through. So it looks like this, it's not a doe foot applicator. I don't know this is called petal shape, leaf shape, but um, a lot of uh, beauty bloggers like to use a lip liner. Well, what if that's not within the budget? That's an extra $7. So um, just use the pointy, the pointy tip to be your liner. So X marks the spot. 
Yeah, I'll even see that. Trace down. So you can line your lips first with whatever color you're using. You can overdraw. Sorry, let me pronounce that better. You can overdraw. Um, if that's your thing, or just make it look a little more natural. Then fill in the blanks. There you go. I love it. So there you go, guys. That is my full face of makeup. Um, I think Kajit went to sleep. This is another step that I like to do. Not a necessity, but if you want to do it, go right ahead. You can get these setting sprays um, on base as well. This one, I got this from the airport, unfortunately, so we're not going to get this here. Um, you can get NYX for maybe $7, Milani for like $5. Those are available at um, our respective NEXs. And this one just basically sets everything and makes it all look dewy. Ta-da! So right now I'm clocking in at 41 minutes. Uh, by the time I do, you know, say my goodbyes and all of that with you, it's probably going to be at 45 point of the matter is, remember, the reason why it took us this long is I'm explaining each and every single thing to you. I'm talking to you about the brushes, about coupons, about shades, about using all of this. I can do another, let's put my ring back on, get ready with me, um, that's sped up and silent, so you can actually see my method to making this happen. And I assure you, it does not take that long, most especially because, A, some of you girls already have brows. B, some of you are not want, want are not going to want to line the tight line inside your eyes. You're not going to want to do that. Um, and others will not want to have to contour and set and all of that. So for me, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I absolutely believe doing a, going like an extra five minutes to make yourself look good goes a long way in making you feel good. Think good, act good, and speak good around other people. When you look in the mirror and you feel good about what you see, that people can feel that. That's projected onto others. And you can be like, well, then that means I'm putting makeup on for others. Wrong. This is your war paint. This is what's going to get you through the day. And honestly, this is what gets me through the day sometimes. Because let's face it, um, being an overseas Navy wife where your husband is always away, your parents are not here, your friends, the accessibility, the comforts of home that we are used to, um, being apart from Starbucks and Target. I know I'm joking, but yeah, it's not always easy. So do yourself a favor, make yourself feel better. And when it's one of those things, you fake it till you make it. And for me, that's how makeup helps me out. It's my war paint. It gives me that extra oomph in the morning to get going. And um, I think everybody could benefit from it. It's not to say that you're not already gorgeous, glowing, and beautiful as is, but there's nothing wrong with a little help. So if you guys have any more questions, let me know. Um, thank you for watching me and following through with this. I will do a shorter get ready with me because I want to assure you it does not take as long as 43 minutes and 45 seconds to be able to get a very simple put together face. So till then, Talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful weekend and big shout out to all of the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day weekend. You guys are the real MVP and I am honored to now be part of that tribe with my little baby in me right now. So have a wonderful day and bye.